How's everyone doing today? New video today. I do a lot of relationship videos. That's because a lot of you always ask me about relationships, right? And what you want is what I give, right? You know, I please you. I'm here I'm here to, to help you out. I've made a few videos about this topic already, but I feel like I need to make another one and keep it as real as possible with all of you. A lot of you ask me about long distance relationships. Does and can a long relationship work? How do you make it work? Why does it work? And my answer to that is, you don't. You don't make it work. You can't make it work. It doesn't work. Now disclaimer, for those of you out there who can make it work, you know, the 1% miracle of you out there, you know, this is for you. This is for you. Because you, you deserve it. If you're thinking about going into a long distance relationship, why? Why put yourself through that stress? It's like drowning, but worse. And trust me, I've, I've almost drowned before. I know how drowning feels like because I can't swim. Let me tell you why long distance relationships don't work. First of all, when you're in a long distance relationship, you're more like friends. You're not really, you know, together. You know what I'm saying? You don't have the physical aspect. You can't hold them. You can't go on a date with them unless, you know, you do it virtually somehow with like your phone and you're like Skyping each other or FaceTiming each other and like going out. But that's just weird, you know? I don't think you would do that. And I wouldn't do that either. So I don't know. That's weird. But if you're in a long distance relationship, you're more just like friends. You're not really in a relationship together. You can't kiss each other. You can't hug each other. You can't show affection towards each other. The second reason why long distance relationships don't work is trust. Let's just say you and the person that you're dating, long distance wise, is in a relationship, right? You know their schedule. They work from like one to seven and they get out at seven and they always text you at seven saying, hey, what's going on? You know, I love you, I miss you. And then all of a sudden they stop contacting you at seven. They break that routine of contacting you all the time and letting you know what they're doing and updating you. And now you have to go all Liam Neeson on them like, I will find you and I will kill you. Then find out later, they didn't text you back because, oh, I was busy, you know, oh, I was talking to a friend. And now you're like, oh, who, who is this friend that you're giving your time to rather than me? Huh? Huh? Now granted, I know there's some of you out there who are independent, Miss Independent, Mr. Independent, I'm a baller. I don't care about who they talk to. I don't care about if I lose them or not. Then why be in a relationship? Why? I don't care what any of you say out there, right? If you really, really love that person or, you know, want to be with that person in a long distance relationship, it's not going to work. It won't. It wouldn't. It can't. Because of the third reason. What if, hypothetically speaking, what if that friend is bad? Now, for those of you who don't know, bad doesn't mean like, you know, they're terrible, they're awful. No, bad is another term for they're a 10 out of 10. Like, they're a supermodel. They got six pack abs. They got everything. They got the nice eyes, the nice hair, the nice skin. They're whatever you think is perfect. And that, that, that perfectness is there hanging out with what's yours, with your man, with your girl. And you're telling me you're still like, Yo, I ain't afraid to lose them. I'm a baller. I'm confident. There's a 10 out of 10 hanging out with my girl. I would be shitting bricks. I would be like, hello? Hello? Why aren't you not answering your phone? Where are you? Who you with? You with him again, aren't you, huh? I forbid you to see him. I forbid you. Are we done? No, I'm just kidding. We're not done. We're not done. I love you. Don't, don't leave me, please. Please don't cheat on me. But the fourth reason why long distance relationships don't work is the money aspect. Think about it. If one person lives in China and another person lives in America, how are you guys gonna get to see each other? One of you guys is gonna have to pay that $500 to $1,000 ticket to go see each other. Or you guys have to meet halfway and be like, oh, let's meet in the middle of nowhere like Australia or Zimbabwe, you know what I'm saying? You guys each pay like $200 or $250 to go there. And now you're like, oh snap, since we're here, you know, we gotta rent a hotel, we gotta rent transportation, we gotta go sightseeing, we gotta do all this stuff. So you guys are spending around like $2,000 just to see each other for like two days. You got money like that? I mean, if you got money like that, you should just move over there and live with them, you know what I'm saying? Because you're a baller. You don't care about money. But for us common folks, for us commoners, for us peasants, you know, $2,000 is a lot of money. Did I mention in my last video that, you know, YouTube doesn't pay me that much? I get enough for like a Big Mac meal, you know, so... 
a big difference for me. I don't know how some of you do it in a long distance relationship. I really don't. One moment, you know, you guys are spending all the time online talking to each other, texting each other, and another minute, you text them and they don't reply for like three hours. Like, oh, I'm going to my friend today. Okay, cool, you know, text me. Let me know what you're up to. So you guys are texting each other, you know, in the beginning, you're like, oh, like, we're doing this with him, blah, 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 with her, blah, blah, blah. And then next time, oh, I'm hanging out with him again. What are you doing? No reply. Nine o'clock. I just got home. We know we were just, we were just chilled. Chilled? Chilled? You Netflix? Huh? You got the Netflix part? Did you Netflix and chill? Or just chill? Tell me the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that just leads to like so much more stress. In a long distance relationship, you're just stressing 24 seven. It's just stress, 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 stress. And if you're not stressing about it, maybe you don't wanna be in that relationship as much as that person. Oh, and the final and last reason is the fact that they might not like you. They might just be playing you. In a long distance relationship, that person could just be catfishing you. It could be a 50 year old or 60 year old man behind a computer trying to catfish you. You know what I'm saying? You don't know. Oh, but like I Skype with him. They probably don't even turn the camera on. All you hear is their voice. And you're like, oh my God, he has a beautiful voice. You see this? You see this? Please, please. I remember one of you were talking to me about the subject and they said they were having a long distance relationship and the guy needed money. So she was sending the guy money because he was in a tough situation. This works? This? I, you can scam people like this? Let me show you guys right now how I'm in a bad situation, right? I'm, I'm gonna go to Google, pull up a couple of images, and you're gonna see. I'm gonna show you guys how bad my situation is. See that? See all that? See all that right here? Send me money. Send me money. You two don't pay me. Send me money. But you get what I'm saying, right? Like, you can see the guy is using that girl for money. And the worst part is, she sends him money, but he doesn't give her the time. You know, like, she sends him money, she texts him all the time saying like, hey, how you doing? Like, let's talk, or like, Yo, what are you up to? And he's only giving one more answer. It's like, I'm good, I'm busy, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But when he needs money, he's like, hey, babe, can you give me money? I'm running low this month, I need a little bit of help. I would have just ended right there and be like, you find your own sugar mama. It's not worth it. Nine out of 10 times, not worth it. There's that 1% miracle, 1% of people who actually God bestowed upon them the miracle of long distance relationships. And somehow the stars align perfectly for them to meet each other and have a happy life together. But thank you guys so much for watching. Those are my five reasons why a long distance relationship can't work. If you guys like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment down below of you know what you think about this video, what are your opinions, and any future videos that you want me to do. And also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share the video for me. There will be more videos coming soon, and uh, I hope you guys check out some of my other videos. Peace.